Hi, welcome back to Repair Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video, I've just picked up this Briggs & Stratton 35 Classic Petrol Lawnmower. This is a, a performance petrol rot rotary lawnmower. I've had one of these before, actually, I remember, um, to be honest. Because the one thing I remember about it is it uh, tried to rip itself out my arm. But I've just picked this up. I've paid just £10 for this. So, obviously, this has been sat in a garage for a good, I reckon, maybe 10 years, so... I'm not sure what I'm going to say it's going to be in. He said about 10 years, but I don't even know if it's as old as that. So, oh, that's good news, that's what I like to see. This blade sat there still on these pins. Looks like it's got a, an even gap between the blade and the deck. Hopefully it's not not bent. So, let's have a look in here, see if there's anything in it at all. Yeah, there's a tiny drop of fuel in the bottom of that. So let's do what we always do, let's drop some fuel in this. And let's see if this starts. Right, so I've dropped a bit of petrol in it, and let's try it. This is uh, the first go. I can feel the primer bulbs working, I can hear. <laughs> That's the drain actually, at the back of my house. I can hear that there's fuel going through there. I know the blades are correctly, so. Let's try this one more. Good. That's uh, sort of 80% of my problem solved when it starts and runs, but it runs too slowly. So what I'm going to do next is take the air filter box off and we'll have a quick look at these governor springs. We might just have to service this carb up as well, because this is running very slowly. So if you've got a lawnmower that's running really slowly, and it's uh, similar to this, you might want to watch the rest of this video. Let me just go get a flat-headed screwdriver. We'll take a look under this air filter box at these governor springs. So just a quick mower update. I've sold all the ones I had. I've kept that. This is my original lawnmower that I bought back by accident off someone. If you haven't seen that video, it's in the, there's an actual video card to that in the top right hand corner of your screen. This is the Honda that's unfortunately got internal problems, it's vibrating. Um, and this is the new performance power one I've got. So that's where I'm at. I've sold every other one. I think I've sold about 10 in the last two or three weeks. So let's just get this screwdriver. Is that the right one in my hand? I've already picked it up. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so and tick the bell notification. That way it can keep you up to date with uh, all the new videos I bring out as well. I've actually got a full playlist of all these um, videos. I've done loads and loads of these Briggs & Stratton engines. I think I've got 80, 80, about 83 videos in a playlist as well. So if you look in the top right hand corner of your screen now, um, you'll see a link to 85 videos on this type of lawnmower. So if you're having running problems, one of those videos should be able to help you out. Yeah, you see these springs? Look at this spring here. What's up there? There's just not enough tension on that spring. There's actually a full spring missing off there. There should be a spring across there as well. So I'm going to need some governor springs for this lawnmower. The only reason I think this isn't running at full speed is because it's got these uh, governor springs missing. I think actually what's happened, yeah, they've, they've adapt, tried to adapt this. I've take, this is, should have been the shorter one that goes across here. And they've actually lost the longer one. I'm sure I saw something earlier today when I was, I was actually <laughs> I was actually snow foaming my mountain bike. When I get my car washed, I, I get this stuff called snow foam and I wash it and my bike that I use quite regular was a real mess and I snow foamed my bike and I pulled this catcher out. I'm honest, I was a bit lazy because I saw a spring on the floor and I didn't pick it up. Oh, it's no good, is it? I don't know why I didn't, probably because it looked like that. And I don't think at the minute I've got any other governor springs. Now I've got a spare engine around the back of the garage. I bet I've taken them off there as well. Let's have a look here. Ah, oh, there's one there. Oh, they're there, look. Ah, yes. Get this football out of the way. Been playing with that. Been playing with that with kids. I played yesterday. I went to the park with my lads. And they're like 11 and 9 now when I was playing with this, all the mates on the park for about an hour. Honestly, I couldn't walk when I got home. I was so tired. 
Um, I ain't quite recovered from that, but it was good. Anyway, this is good news. I'm going to get these off here. I can't do it with one hand. I'm going to get these governor springs off here. Oh, I can't believe I've got them. Um, I'm going to swap them over onto this lawnmower and we'll see what we've got. I've also got a, well, apart from a, a Minnie Mouse football, I've also got a collection of grass boxes behind it as well. So let me get this out and I'll get these springs off here and we'll swap these over. So I've just got this engine on this bench here. I've just got these two springs off here. If I'm honest, I've just bent one of them there. Didn't do such a good job with that, did I? But I've got it off. Um, so I'm a bit annoyed that I've done that. Uh, what happened is it, when it came off and I actually had it through the hole it was actually gone back through the uh, one of the holes and I couldn't get it out and I pulled it a bit hard that's no good at all so let's just take that off there and this long one here this long spring here just wants to hook on like that and then I need to hook this one back through here again like that and that's how I bent it getting it off so that's on there like that and then this one just hooks through here like that and then it hooks onto this tab here so I'll just put my camera on the tripod there's actually a little cut out in there it's that dirty I can hardly see it I'm going to hook that around there and pull that through as well I've just quickly done that you can see now all, all these things move I always say this when I get a video I always say you know if you're going to scrap on make sure you keep the springs and I think I even said that in the last video so let's just get this on here right so I've got in a bit of a tangle so I've just hooked them back on you can see everything's bouncing around there what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly start this lawnmower up again and just see what sort of speed it runs. To do this you don't really need to put the air filter back on, it'll be alright for a minute or so. To be honest this air filter is probably really filthy anyway so let's just put you back on there. Let's just try this mower again and see what speed it runs at. Make sure there's nothing underneath here. Hello. Just a quick tip for anyone who's new to the channel, if you take the air filter box off you can actually see in there if the primer's working, if it's actually going across. speed but it's revving up and down so what I'm going to do is just bend this tab at the front here forward a little bit more take this one around here as well if I can I just have to stretch these springs slightly but what stretching the springs won't do if you bend this tab is it won't stop it revving up and down and this is still revving up and down a bit so it's probably going to want the car breast service but mainly it's running at the right speed the right speed now it's got these uh, springs on <laughs> It's only cost me ten pound this long more, and in five minutes I've got it running somewhere near. Just wants a carb service and wants a diaphragm and gasket on. I'm also going to whip this uh, actual flywheel off and just have a look at this uh, keyway at the top of there, make sure that there's no damage to that as well. We know the blades on correctly, so it just wants a little bit of a service up, wants a good clean and tidy up, maybe a little bit of painting on this start of recall. And I'm going to probably list this for sixty pound, probably get fifty pounds for this because it's not in the best condition, but it's all there. And it's going to be sort of £50 profit really for less than an hour's work. So in a minute I'm going to service this carburetor, put a diaphragm and gasket in it and check this top keyway at the top of here as well. And just before I do that I've just put this air filter box back on. You can probably see what sort of a mess it's in. So before I do anything on a lawnmower like this, what I tend to do is just clean it all off of the hose pipe. So I just don't like working in a mess, I just don't like it. Especially down the back of these wheels, if you look how full everything is up. So I'm just going to get a hose pipe and spend a few minutes just cleaning this off before I do anything else with it. So this might sound pretty straightforward, but I have one of these hose pipes with this type of end on. That way I can turn the tap on first and I can just undo this and clean it off. Otherwise, if you've just got a standard end on, it just starts going everywhere you don't want it. So all I generally do is turn it on. Just give everything a real good clean off around the back of the wheels. When you finish, you see, you can just turn that off. So it might seem a bit simple, and I suppose it is, but I just thought I'd show that. And I'll just clean down the back of all these wheels. I'll probably tip it up against this fence and just clean this off for a few minutes.
So what I'm trying to do with this lawnmower is I'm trying to turn a £10 lawnmower into kind of a £50 profit or a £60 sale if you like. You can see either this deck looks a bit of a mess at the back and I don't want to really start painting this up. So I think what I'll do for taking some photos is uh, I'll be a bit uh, generous really. I'll be stand a bit further away and uh, clean it up a bit first. So even now I've still got bits left in here. There should be an exhaust guard on there as well. But you can probably tell even now it looks a lot better than it did. At least when I start servicing this carb, I'm not working around a great big mess, so let's just strip this down. So I'm going to do this bit and I'm just going to put it on time lapse so it'll go through really quickly. If you want an in detail video of how to change the diaphragm and gasket on this Briggs & Stratton 35 classic engine, take a look in the top right hand corner of your screen right now and you'll see a detailed video for that. But for now, I'm just going to put this on time lapse and I'm going to get on with this job as quickly as I can. So that only takes a minute or so to do, I just fast forwarded that, I've shown that on so many videos that um, kind of a lot of people know how to do that. If you missed the actual video card to watch that, you'll find that video in the description as well. While I was off camera there, I just cleaned it all out and blew it all through with this compressor as well. But while I've got this in bits, what I want to do is just quickly take this starter recoil off here. I'm just going to blow all the uh, inside of this out and have a look around once I've actually blasted all this off with the compressor. So I'm just going to unzip this recoil cover now, you see here. Just take these off here. Let's just take this spark plug lead off as well. There's one missing in this side. So only two in here, luckily. I've got another one of those. Quite common parts. Let's take that off there. This whole thing should lift off, which it does. Just move Kevin's spacer from there. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, not too bad. All these cooling fins just want a bit of a clean out. So I'm just going to zip this top bolt off here and check this flywheel key. I'll probably just take this off. You can see in here, look at this kill switch here, it looks filthy at the back. So let's zip that off. Let's just check this actual top keyway. So the reason I want to check this is because it was revving up and down slightly. Normally a carburetor issue, but I just want to check this now. I've got this new tool, I've got this Ryobi One Plus. This has been really helpful at getting these off. Make sure the spark plug lead is removed. This is a 1516 socket. And this has been great for these little jobs such as that. You can take that off there and we can have a look at this keyway and I'll show you that. You can see on this lawnmower everything looks fine, everything's nice and square there, nothing's offset or bashed over to one side and everything looks exactly like it should be. And that's one handy thing about having that little tool there, is I can do that, I could never do that that quickly before. And this can just become a quick process just to make sure there's nothing major. So I'm going to take this cover off now and I'm just going to clean this kill switch at the back and check this wire that runs around, make sure there's no brakes in that and just clean all this off out with the compressor. So we'll just get this cover off, you just want a quarter inch socket on this, manually undo this. Sometimes I've got a cover on, sometimes they haven't. Just take that off. You can see it's not really much of a job to service one of these once you've done it a few times, but you can probably see there how much dirt's around that kill switch there. Look at that there. If this doesn't disconnect properly and you pull this safety lever at the top, you won't get spark and your lawnmower won't run. So I'm just going to clean that off. Just once a wire brushing off and a bit of a clean off, make sure there's no dirt in there. And that's another simple job done. So I'm just going to re-bolt this starter recoil back on now. I've cleaned all that out. I'm going to put this petrol tank back on 
and we'll connect it all up and we'll see what it runs like. will not running too bad before, I'm hoping it's going to run a little bit more even now it's had the carb service. Quickly bolted that back together. The only thing I forgot to do there was actually forgot to put this spacer in here and I bolted this recoil cover on, so I just unbolted that again with this impact and put that in and put it back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this spark plug as well, something I always do. Um, I've always mentioned this on a lot of videos before as well, but I always use these NGK B2LM spark plugs. These are now available at the website Repair Almost for Profit. I don't use anything else on these Briggs mowers. I've had no problems whatsoever with these. So if you're looking for genuine spark plugs for these Briggs engines, take a look at Repair Almost for Profit. There's a recommended products page on there, and you can find um, genuine ones of those on there. And I always use these. As I said, I've never had a problem. And with every mower I service, I always just change the plug no matter what's in it. Just take it out. I'll just put a, a new one in, so let's just do that. It's really tight. So I can't get that out. And now, be careful doing that, not to scratch the paint. If you've got a really good blonde one, you really don't want to mark it. That's not the best way to do it. That's filthy. Just a quick note as well, if anyone's got any video requests on this type of engine or the one that know anything at all or a specific video video film, and just leave me a comment in the comments section of this video and I'll do my best to do your video while I've got this uh, little lawnmower sat here. So I've put that back together, I'm just going to start this up and try it and we're just going to see, well first of all if it runs and how it runs. I'm probably just going to paint this recoil cover up and tidy it up a little bit. This is what I kind of call a pit stop service. I'm not going to do loads and loads of work on it, it's only a little lawnmower this. I'm going to make sure it runs right and the blade's sharp, I'll probably change the oil as well. So, I think what's happened there is I've actually uh, put this back together, I've actually knocked this governor spring off, so I'm kind of back to square one, so I'll just put this spring back on. Yeah, I told you I do these things live, I get a lot of uh, messages going, yeah, you just fixed it and you started filming it, right, I don't, honestly, I always just turn the camera on and do it first, you can see there, that, that spring just wants to go back on there, put that on there, that's on, so let's just prime it and try it again, this is one of the reasons I actually do these uh, videos. Sort of live, so if I put something together and I've got a problem, you can see what the problem might be. You can probably see here, I've got quite a bit of white smoke, I'm not sure how, how good this is on the camera. And you might see this and think your lawnmower's kind of had it, but if you remember, I did slightly tip this up and I put it against the fence. I'm not sure if you can see, I was looking at my camera on the, on the screen of my camera. Yeah, you can see that. Um, and when you tip it up, what happens is oil will transfer down here into this exhaust. And it's running a little bit lumpy still. And once it's burnt off, that'll run okay. So don't think your lawnmower's ruined. If you've tipped it up and you get white smoke, that's the reason why. So I'm just going to run this lawnmower for a few minutes, it's running a lot more evenly now. I'm just going to run it until it starts running even and all this actual smoke just burns off. It pulls over nice as well, it's not kicking back when I pull it over, so I know there's no problem with this keyway. Obviously I've checked it, but if you get this rip in your arm back, there's a good chance this keyway is sheared at the top. <laughs> relatively happy with that, the handle's just vibrated off that far side but it's still smoking a little bit that and as it smokes it kind of pops a bit and it will rev up and down a little bit but it's improved massively and this lawnmower I've been running as I say probably for around 10 years so it probably just wants the fuel taken out the tank there might even be a bit of water left in there because I've just topped up what was in there with my own fresh fuel so I'll probably drain that out and do it again but it's running well it's not revving up and down massively so I know there's no major problem with this carb so while that oil's warm as well I'm just going to change the oil on this lawnmower while the oil's removed out of this engine I'm actually going to tip this up again and I'm going to sharpen the blade off. What I usually do is just remove this spark plug lead here just move it out of the way a bit and then I just push this fuel tub underneath so it tips it back a bit Got this little extractor in here, this little rockwood one. This was only cheap, this. It was only about £14. Next thing I do is just pump this out here. 
like this and eventually it'll start drawing it through these lines so I'll just put it back on the tripod and I'll show you while the oil's warm it's always worth just doing this you can see just fill this tube up you can see it all coming through the tube and it'll just suck it all out of there no need whatsoever to tip this lawnmower up or over or anything like that as you can see just by tipping it against that fence to check the underside of this blade and wash it off it's actually smoking a lot so you really don't want to be tipping a lawnmower up wherever possible if you're doing a full service I always suggest doing this at the very beginning you can hear that now it's just so quick and simple to own one of these extraction kits I've just unzipped this uh, blade bolt with this little tool here, this little Ryobi thing. I think the last time I tried to do that, one of these blade bolts, it failed, it wasn't strong enough. Maybe I just didn't try it for long enough and just presumed it wouldn't do it, but it's taken that off. No problem, so just check these pins are alright on here. You can see, as I showed before, these need to be correct and sat through this blade. But I'm just going to sharpen this up now on my uh, bench grinder. I'm going to sharpen this blade up and I'm just going to bolt it back on. So I've just bolted this uh, sharpened blade back on. I can lie that back down. One little thing I always do as well is I always leave this uh, oil dipstick out. I know nothing's going to come out there so I've drained it out but it just reminds me to put some back in before I start this mower up. So this had a, kind of had a more than a, a little mini service really for a little lawnmower. It's kind of getting a, a, bit, a bit more TLC than it maybe deserves but while I'm here and I'm doing it I might as well just do it. So I'm going to put some oil in here and uh, I'm going to clean this up a bit more. I think I was going to put this on Facebook Marketplace for around £60. I mean, you know the best one you can kind of get that's a cheapish one nowadays. It's about £120 in like screw fix and places like the range and they're not very good. Um, they might look a little bit better than this but they don't have the Briggs engines on them. They have these Chinese copy engines on. And believe it or not people still do look for this Briggs and Stratton even if it's old. But what will really help sell this is if I just paint this, uh, this cover up. I don't normally go into all that but I think it'll really help sell this as well. What I usually do is just get, um, I think it's just under half a litre of oil, I think it's at half a pint. It's either half a pint or half a litre, but I put uh, just below half a pint in a measuring jug like this. And I just carefully sit this in here and just top this up. So I'll just let that settle in there and uh, put this on a bit more of a level surface and I'll just check this oil. So not the best lawnmower you'll ever see but when it's £10 it's cost me nothing to service. Luckily I had some of those governor springs and that was a stroke. Look, I have to admit they're normally about four or five pounds but I spent £10 on this lawnmower, put a bit of oil in it so probably maybe £12-£13 by the time I put a plug in it as well. It's not an awful lot of money. I'm probably going to make £40 profit on this and it's taken me less than an hour and a half to go and pick it up service it get it running correctly and then just clean it up a bit and i'm not going to do too much more with this i might paint, might uh, paint this recoil cover and i might not but to be honest it's a really nice weekend i'm probably just going to list this on facebook marketplace for 60 pound if anyone offers me 50 i will accept it because that's the way facebook marketplace works it's always best to sell the cheaper ones like this on there people uh, will happily come and spend 50 quid with you whereas if you put it on ebay and you polish them up you want to make a real good job of them i still suggest putting the higher price ones on there and don't be uh, afraid to ask enough money for me because I had one of these recently, a Qualcast one if you remember and I asked £100 for that and it was on just over a week and I got £100 for it eventually you only need one good buyer so that's this one complete so I'm hoping to get £40-£50 profit for that lawnmower there such a simple thing to do if you take a look at the website repairlawnmowersforprofit.com you'll find all the tips and tricks on there you'll need to get yourself started there's about 40 articles on there now covering all the main issues telling you which lawnmower to start with and there's also the recommended parts store on there as well so you'd be doing me a massive favour if you could have, head over to that website which is repairlawnmowersforprofit.com so 
thanks for watching in the top right hand corner of your screen right now i'm going to link to a briggs and stratton playlist it's got all my videos in as i've said before about 85 videos in there all on briggs and stratton lawnmower so thanks very much for watching if you haven't subscribed already be sure to do that if you want to just hit the subscribe button and just tick the bell notification icon and that way you'll get updated with all the future videos thanks very much for watching any questions post a comment in the comment section of this video and i'll do my best to get back to you thanks very much for watching i'm going to go get my tea now so i'm starving and I'm aching for playing football as well. But um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.